Good morning. We still have some people signing in, so it may be a couple more minutes before we begin. Uh, maybe not even a couple of minutes, maybe only about 30 seconds. <laughs> so thank you for your patience. Okay, I think I can start now. And I want to say good morning and welcome to this installment of the series of free webinars sponsored by Pet Store Pro and Global Pet Expo Academy. I am Annie Rotberg. I'm Director of Attendee Services for Global Pet Expo. Thank you for joining us this morning. I compliment you on carving out this time to learn new ideas designed to help your business grow. Before introducing today's speaker, I want to remind you that you can watch all of our Global Pet Expo webinars, including this one, on our website, globalpetexpo.org, under the Seminars tab. And of course, you can also access all the free retailer training on Pet Store Pro 24-7 at petstorepro.com. This morning's speaker truly needs no introduction. She has been featured speaker on, at Global Pet Expo for nearly a decade, providing insight on hot topics such as customer loyalty and social media marketing. I'm sure that the number of folks who have registered for this event today speaks to the respect for her expertise. Lynn Switnowski is the founder and president of Creative Business Consulting Group, a Boston-based retail consulting firm with more than 30 years of retail industry experience, including more than 12 years helping industry businesses. CBCG, as it's also known as, helps retail businesses of all sizes understand the business opportunities created by the changing consumer trends. This morning, Lynn will share strategies on driving peak performance for your pet business this holiday season. Take it away, Lynn. Thanks, Annie. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm glad to be here. I have to tell you all a funny story. I'm actually up in uh, Toronto this morning, and we're talking about <laughs> holiday marketing, and um, it's snowing here. So I thought that was a perfect indicator that it's time, it, we're ready for Christmas, and we're ready for holidays because it's actually snowing here. So with that said, we have a lot to get to today. I'm excited about this topic. I know you guys are as well. We've got, as I like to call it, 55 critical days to help um, your business, maximize sales and engage customers, and that will hopefully set you out for a um, great end of the year and a tremendous um, launch into 2020. Can you believe it? 2020. Um, oh before we begin, the important stuff here, uh, you can get this presentation. There is a section here, if you haven't taken a webinar before, called Handouts. And the PDF of this presentation is there for you, so you can download it and have the um, actual presentation. Um, as Annie mentioned, really, really important. You can get the replay if you want to hear my voice um, and run through it again. So that replay is available. Or um, if you have other questions that we uh, don't get to at the end and you want to just talk, email me. I'm happy to, to chat with you live. So. Don't forget, you can watch this live, you can listen again and again, and get the information um, to help. Um, as Annie said, um, I just wanted to really, I don't, I don't need any more introduction. Annie did a great job. I just want to introduce you to my dog, Cooper, who um, is our newest rascal in the house. And um, he is ready for his first um, Christmas and holiday season in the United States because he's from Puerto Rico. So we'll see how he fares this holiday season. These two pets um, launch us um, into whether you have a cat, dog, or um, somebody has their uh, microphone on. We might need to mute that. Sorry. Um, let me just um, go on here. Apologize. That was just in my reverberating ears. But I want to talk to you about how much pet owners spend on their pets. And the key is there's money to be made from your customers who um, who will spend lots of money on their pets. And therefore, we need to think about how do we capture their, what I call very critical 
um, buying dollars, they're spending dollars. Um, it may be that you understand this anecdotally because you, you know, have had business for a number of years, but the reality is including um, millennial and jet Gen Z pet owners, these pets are more like kids than ever. And therefore the average, you know, that they'll spend and what they want to do to engage their pets in the holiday season um, and get them gifts is, is up and up. Uh, we just finished Halloween, something like 45% of um, millennial pet owners buy costumes for their uh, pets during the Halloween season. So you can only imagine the maximizing of the opportunity when we get into the big holiday season, whether that's Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, there is a big opportunity. And I want all of you with this session today to think about how you capture market share, not just food on a regular basis, but really gifts and services, whether you're a groomer, whether you're a you know, a full line independent pet store and you sell animals, how can you maximize the opportunity this holiday season? So that's really what we're gonna just sort of help you focus on here. Um, and I'm going to start, and I know we've had this conversation among us many times if you've taken one of my seminars before, but using social media will matter, both from a connection, I shouldn't say the most important is the engagement, of the connection with your customers. Look how many millennials, they all basically 90%, let's just call it everybody uses it. Gen X, which you guys are like, well, that may be me 40 to, you know, 40 to 60 and boomers. So whoever your customers are, whether they're millennials, whether they're Gen Xers, whether they're boomers, they're all using social media. So I'm really gonna try and help you focus on that tool um, to drive sales this holiday season. And I wanna talk about what kind of content you should be thinking about. And by that, I mean, what does it look like? Do I do videos? Do I do posts? Um, do I do infographics? I'm gonna give you about 50 different ways to create content for your customers because I want you, most of all, I've been talking to some of you about social media, as Annie said, for almost a decade. And I went back to look at some presentations I did you know, seven years ago, and we bare, we just talked about Facebook. Okay, put a post up on Facebook, put some words and maybe a picture. Clearly, those of you who are engaged today know that that's not the only tools that you need to use. So what you have to think about is, what are you currently, what's your current mix? How are you currently engaging customers on your social media sites? Um, here's what I want you to realize. Your customers, want to talk to you and they want you to use video. You can see in this statistic here, 70% believe video is the most effective tool. In code graphics, you know, 50%. So let me ask you, how much do you use video? What percentage is it of, of, of your mix? Do you need to add more video? My, my answer is yes. Um, your customers want that, it's easy. I know I talk all the time about, you know, ADD customers not being, um, customers not being attention, giving your business attention. Videos are a great way to do that. So I really want you to think about how do you merge, how do you connect? And literally, if you are sitting at your uh, office desk, if you are on the go, sitting at home, I would love you to take a picture of this slide or take this slide from the handout and literally look at this and say, how many different ways can I create a Facebook post? How many different ways can I talk to my customers? And you can see, you know, in this list, there's 10 on each list. So do you take a question and answer session? We're on a webinar right now. Do you host a mini webinar? Do you do how-to guides, whether it's about breeds, whether it's about animals, whether it's about feeding, whether it's about grooming? Do you teach your customers, you know, that, that word dictionary there? I could go through all of these. Clearly the idea is there is more than one way posting a picture, even posting a small video and putting it up on your Facebook page or your Instagram page to connect with people. Um, I wanna focus for a second on the day in the life post. I cannot tell you how many of my pet store customers find this one to be the most effective. Many of you probably put pictures um, of what goes on in your store or what goes on in your grooming studio, but a day in the life from the perspective of the animal 
um, who is coming into the store or who is getting the groom are really, really fun and engaging for customers. Think about a, group, a GoPro um, on the head of a dog or on the head of a cat as they, as they walk around or a different type of animal. Um, really, really engaging, really, really fun. And um, they never get old because they're live. They're, you know, they're, they're a video that can go in any different direction. Um, so interview, we can talk about other things like games and giveaways. I, I hope you're using those as well. But again, when you're looking at the next 55 days, here are 30 post content ways to get content out to your customers. And I don't necessarily think that every single one of them will work for you. Some of you have a more cerebral customer. So white papers and how to guides and education will be much more important for their for your customers. Other of you have a younger customer base who have absolutely no um, tolerance for anything more than 15 or 30 seconds or some sort of game. So the key is lots of different formats, lots of different ways. What I want you to understand is it is not a one um, stop shop for each of you, for all of you at the same. You know, I work with different sets of customers. You all would have a different mix here. And that is based on who your customers are and what they want. If I have to highlight things that I know work for everybody, certainly a um, day in the life post would work for everybody. A list would work for everybody. Memes work for most people. Um, surveys work for everybody. That's a really good tool. Quizzes work. Contests work. Giveaways work for everybody. So plenty of commonality, but certainly plenty of room for, if you will, freedom of expression. Now I want to talk about, for those of you that have Instagram pages, I mean, a lot of those work really well on Facebook, but Instagram is a, another um, tool that many of you are using successfully. It really, really lends itself to live and to video chats and to different formats. So that's 360 photos or videos. Um, moving GIFs work really well. Um, you know, I, I talk about the self-explanatory image here you see. Um, another one you'll see here with the two people in this cute chart is partner with another brand. So, you know, that could be you sharing other people's content. They could be videos, they could be, you know, Instagram stories, but you sort of sharing other local, whether it's another non-competing business or whether it's a vet. If you were a full line store, maybe it's a grooming um, salon. The other one is a social swap. Let somebody, let your best customer run your social media for the day. Um, obviously you get that approved, but it's a really fun way for your customers to feel like they are part of your business. And it works really, really effectively when you do a social swap. Um, I just wanna remind you all, I, I forgot to mention this at the beginning, if you have questions, um, you can um, download them in the question box and then at the end, we'll try and get to those, as many of those questions as we can. And if not, um, I'll get them to you at the end. Uh, I'll get them to you after we're done here today. Um, again, I just wanted to reiterate how critically important video is. It is an engaging and shareable tool for your social media. and the key, especially during this holiday time period, is for you to remain, you and your business to remain top of mind. And by you creating fun, engaging, shareable, laughable contests, referrals, you know, promoting sale events, all that's possible. The key is engaging your customers, staying top of mind. And that's why video is such a critical tool. Um, if you go on to your Instagram feed right now, um, even if it's personal and you don't have one for your business, across the top of your Instagram feed are Instagram stories, and you will find that the majority of those feeds are video content. They're movement. They're easy to understand. They tell a story um, in very quick order. So it's something to think about on a regular basis. Um, I would love 
you at this point to have at least 50% of your posts be in video format. If you're at zero, try and get to 30. If you're at 40, get to 60. Um, but it's really good content and it will really help you um, drive connection with your customers. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, but I wanted you to have this as a reference. If you've taken one of my seminars before, I know you've seen this graphic. It's important that you understand there are some basics. Yes, I want you to post good stuff. I want you to post surveys and contests. I want you to you know, put out memes and cartoons. It always assumes that you understand the basics here, which are that social media is all about being social. So when you create those videos and when, we, when you create those cartoons and memes, the first piece is that you make it social. And by that, I mean personal, first. Share your personality, share your store's personality, your business's personality. Many of you now that I talk to in person at Global will tell me that you have a store pet who has an Instagram page. That's because you're looking to create personality for your business. So you want to make sure that you start your interaction with your customers, especially around the holidays when they're stressed and busy and you know, don't have enough time in the day to be engaging and personal, funny, and then move on to the um, informational part of that. What kinds of products are important? Any kinds of new products that you, you know, want your customers to know? How these great new products work? A gift guide. What's a perfect gift for the pet in your house this Christmas? A, you know, statistic about take the slide that I you know started this session with and suggest to your customers that every pet is now getting a gift and what are you going to get your pet this holiday season you know um, here is your gift guide from your favorite pet business on the things that you can buy for your dog this holiday the things that you can buy for your fish for your cat make it a direct appeal to showcase to your pet store owners who actually have the wallet, the things that their pets would like on their stocking this year. And that obviously leads to the selling of your business. So this, you know, if you will, wheel of engagement is always the core, but it absolutely, you know, gets used a little differently around the holiday season. I am using the word Christmas here um, but I want to make sure you understand if it's Kwanzaa, if it's if you have a Jewish customer base, um, make sure if you buy those gifts and toys and dreidel, you know, toys um, that you put those out um, via your social media content. So however you separate your customer base, make sure you talk to them in their language during your um, marketing this holiday season. Right. So personality, engagement on how your business can help pets have a better Christmas. I know you all have thousands of dollars of merchandise that you need to sell over the next you know, 55 days. You might have even bought some Christmas sweaters and some Christmas toys or like I said, Hanukkah. How are you promoting those? Put those in the perspective of this would be the perfect gift for your Pomeranian, for your Husky, dot, 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 right? Put them in the mindset of them being a good pet owner and buying a gift for their pet this holiday season. I'm gonna get into a calendar at the end of this, like, um, like the session described, but I just wanna give you some, what I call low hanging fruit. Um, the key is think about your customers who are buying. They are busy this holiday season and how can your business help them do more while they're shopping? So that is be social. You know, I say make your store a place for gathering. And we'll talk about whether it's a, you know, shopping event, whether it's a bark and buy event, whether it's a um, holiday yappy hour, 
um, you know, how do you create social activities and perks for your customers to do more? Like, I just put this picture up here to say, perhaps you have a lounge area, sit, you know, put your dogs on our, test out our beds, you know, put a dog bed testing area. Um, you traveling with your pet this holiday, you know, put some crates out to show how, you know, your pet will be comfortable in the crates you sell. Um, have a tasting bar um, and do a live video of, you know, that tasting event. Um, one of the things, you know, that I'm constantly urging is get your store into people's selfies. So social media selfies. And I want to show you a tool that I found for that. And I just think, so this is an Instagram frame and literally it's called from, I don't have any, you know, connection to this customer or this, this company. I just want you to know it's about engaging whether it's pets or pet owners with your business. You can buy this social from social cutouts, an Instagram frame with your store Instagram feed, with the location of it, with any kind of content you want at the bottom. And look, these girls are in the selfie. You put the selfie, you know, the 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 uh, cutout in your store, and you tell your pet owners, make it about Christmas, make it about holiday, make it a fun little Christmas card sent from your store you know, and from the pets. That's what I mean by social media selfies. I know many of you have, and they're great. They're, you know, photos with Santa. Um, but maybe the next piece of that is a, is a social cutout around Santa. Merry Christmas from, you know, your dog, our family to yours with your store. So not only did Santa come, but Santa was at your pet store and therefore, they're all sending um, and posting them on Instagram and it all relates back to your business. Pet parades, holiday parades, those are kind of the traditional stuff. But think about other things like what I call social event tactics. How do you drive social activities that are picture oriented, that are video oriented, that are dogs and customers having fun in your store? And I also mean that, that people are physically in your store, but I also want you to think about events where customers can sit in their car when they're in traffic and log in and watch. Not that they should be doing that, but you know, sitting in a coffee shop, sitting in a bar, sitting at home, right? A live video gift event. So from, you know, if your store's open till, eight or nine o'clock, you know, from seven to eight, you have a live video gift event and you have a fashion show and you have dogs that are in the store having fun, trying on Christmas sweaters, but it's a live feed and your customers can buy directly from that at the same time. Social activities that might be physical activities going on in the store at the same time. That is the new breed of customer. When you think of an in-store event, even if it's a how-to, even if it's a um, training session, you know, and this isn't about Christmas, but if your vendors come in and do employee training, maybe you stream a little bit of that to show your customers who follow you on social media that your staff is well-trained, right? Everything you do in-store, think of it as a social event as well, because your customers want to see you there. Many, many of your customers can't, or frankly, maybe not even want to come into the store on as much of a regular basis. And I need you not to be upset about that. I need you to be like, how are we going to get to them? So social tactics in your store. And then that's just one other thing I want you to think about. Not just social tactics, but make it easy to shop and stay. And by that, I mean whether that's free Wi-Fi sitting in your chairs, ordering, you know, I don't mean that you should be an Amazon pickup point for your customers, um, but if you make it simple for your customers to understand that you want them to stay and engage and sure, use our free Wi-Fi, sure, come sit and have a cup of coffee with us or a cocktail during yappy hour. But the other piece of that is to make them stay 
but I also need for all of you, and especially think about during the holiday season, people are busy. And I know you're busy as well, but your customers, the easier you make it for them to not come in and have an experience with your store, that video event, buy, video gift event, buying online, Facebook message us, Instagram message us that you want this item. We'll wrap it for you and you can curbside pick it up. Two days a week, we're doing delivery of holiday gifts, right? And you may or may not have these programs all year. If you've already got them in place, great. Direct appeal to your customers. We know you're busy. We know you want to come in, but you can't get here. We're going to make it easy for you to buy your $190 worth of pet products for your pet at our store. We have this live event. You can buy from us on social media. We will have it wrapped and ready. You text us as you're rolling by and we will throw it in the window of your car and see you next time you come in. For all of you sitting on this webinar, that has to be in your mind. Yes, your store is beautiful. Yes, I want them to come in always. But if they're busy, how do you communicate that you have great holiday giftable items and it's okay? You'll show them what they are on social media via your website, via your email links and that you will provide easy convenient shopping i promise you I, I know this is a leap of faith but i want you to understand me and see if you if i'm on I'm, i wish you know I, i'm on a webinar here but i'm compelling you to understand your customers love your store you all have very very loyal customers who really get good advice get good products good information have a good time their pets love coming to your business, they're just busy. So I need you to all just think about the fact that we need to talk to them in a little bit different way, or frankly, another way, so that four times out of five, they're gonna come in. But if the fifth time happens to be, they're so busy during the holidays, I don't want you to miss those sales either. So the tactics that I'm trying to provide you with are ones that help you guys communicate to your customers it's okay, we'll see you next time, but still we want you to see all these great things that we have. All right, now I wanna get into what I call the calendar piece of the year because it is critically important that you all understand, right? Today is Thursday, November 7th. Thanksgiving is as late as it can be this year, which means you have less selling days between Christmas between Thanksgiving and Christmas. For those of you Canadians, you, you understand that, you know, that's not the case. You know, usually selling kicks off after American Thanksgiving, um, but understand, look at the chart here. In last year, because Thanksgiving was earlier, we had more selling. Now that's been delayed. So my goal in the next part of this session is to help you drive with events and activities as I want you to think about driving as many sales as you can in the month of November because there are six fewer shopping days left. And if people are running late, and we just talked about running behind and running late, I don't want the pet piece of their buy to get left out. If they just run out of time and Fido doesn't get anything or Cooper, right? But if you guys make it important and have all these really cool, fun activities early and drive them into your businesses, again, whether that's into the store or buying socially from you, um, I think you'll garner a bigger share. So the shift in sales is, is later. So the mindset is getting them earlier. So with that said, I have what I call a two month plan for you. And because you're all attending a webinar, you all can use the same formula <laughs> because you're all in different parts of the country. 
But I wanted to give you a sense. When I work with my clients, this is how we look at it. Events, activities, engagement, and then marketing communication support and that social media support to drive awareness of those events. At this point, my assumption is that you all have the products in store already. You've got the Christmas sweaters, you, you're either receiving or have received the Christmas toys and treats, and you're just about to, to put those out. So if we were to think about what your store looks like now, how can you drive pre-Thanksgiving shopping? I'm trying to suggest to you, if we can get people to come into your business, use your business. If we have groomers on this, you know, as well, how do you get people to use your business in the next 15 to 17 days between now and 25th, right? Christmas, uh, not Christmas, Thanksgiving is on Thursday, the 28th. And I'm just suggesting, you know, through um, Monday, the 25th, you may want to go to the 26th, maybe even the 27th. But the idea is to plan activities that get people in, call it a pre-Thanksgiving event. Um, I just did one for one of my clients. We called it Thanks and Giving. And we thank you for being loyal customers of our business. And we are offering a gift with any purchase, a you know, a 15% discount. It's a jewelry store, so we have to go a little bit deeper, but 15% um, to 25% off. And what you get is our thanks for being a customer. So that's just plain thank you, as well as a discount or a gift. And then this is the kicker a coupon to come back in in the month of December. So December 1st, which is that Monday. I'm sorry, that's Sunday after Thanksgiving through the day before Christmas. And whether you choose a regular price item, whether you choose anything in the store, the goal here is to try and get that customer to shop two times as opposed to just coming in once to tease them with something to get them to come back in again. So pre-Thanksgiving shopping, that's, that's something around that. And again, you know, the card here um, is another idea. Three to five days before um, Thanksgiving, I say three to five days, you know, in some of my, we do this in some of my stores and it takes one day to get to the, you know, for them to get to the mail on a local, sometimes it takes longer. The idea is that you as the business owner are being thankful for customers, whether it's your best, and you all know who are your best customers. Would they appreciate a hand signed card? Do you make it to the dog, to the cat, to the, you know, the, the animal that you service? Um, it's, a, it's a card in the mailbox. Here's why it's so effective. Now you all know this, if you have millennial customers, they don't necessarily check their mailbox, but for your very long time, some of you best customers, um, mail is an important tool. It also hits their mailbox before the deluge of Christmas cards. So you are top of mind in that customer's mind and you're not asking for anything. You're just giving them thanks. It's a very powerful message for you as a business owner to say thank you for being here. Thank you for using our business. We appreciate you. And again, before it gets too crowded, um, that's why it's really important and an opportunity um, at this time of year. Another one um, that would be um, a good event, charity events tied to hungry pets, Thanksgiving feasts. Um, perhaps it's a box, perhaps it's a donation to a local charity um, that you are doing something good um, for a local community. And again, tied to thanks, and we are so happy, you know, to do this. Obviously, this is a very um, big tool today. You've got full companies, the online sock companies like the Bomb Boss or the Toms, who give away a free pair of socks or shoes, you know, with every purchase. So customers are very used to seeing this. Um, have you done this for your business? And would this if so, you know, can you continue to do it? Or if you haven't do it, would be an opportunity. 
Another event that's strictly a sale opportunity is to tie the foods and products that you have in your store that are turkey, stuffing, cranberry, some sort of dessert, you know, homemade treats um, that would be in line with um, humans. So Thanksgiving's not just for the four, the two-legged people. Don't forget Thanksgiving for your four-legged friends. So it's a direct appeal to your customers, reminding them in their minds, and I am using the term pets are people too, right? Pets are family too. So make sure that Thanksgiving feast for your pets as well. So that's a direct sale event. So some of this is um, inspirational, some of it is thankful, and some of it is a direct sale event. Choose one, choose them all. Um, the weekend of the month that will be the biggest is obviously what I call the, the trifecta weekend. And that is Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday. And the question is, how do you maximize this opportunity? Um, you know, some of you will take full advantage of it. Others of you, you know, just acquiesce that business to the computer and the big box stores. I say make it your own. Embrace your smallness. Embrace the specialness of your business and make the activities related directly to your business and a direct appeal to your customers. Here's some, just, some suggestions. So Black Friday, a deal an hour. And it may just be, um, you know, if it's too many, you could do a deal every two hours. The, you know, the idea that on Thursday, you know, you send an email or Wednesday, you send an email and says, hey, this is what we're going to do. Here's our schedule. And that you do lots of video, um, that you have fun things going on um, all day long in the store. Free gift with purchase on Black Friday, coffee and refreshments. Maybe it's a holiday guest. I'm, I'm saying maybe a pet from the shelter. Maybe that day you remind people that you're giving away that coupon. Everybody that purchases today gets a coupon for uh, shopping in December. Maybe some of you have an annual, you know, you have the food program, right? Discount or your, your buy 12 bags, get the 13th bag free. Maybe you do something really dramatic and one day on Black Friday, you offer 20 memberships to the annual food club, pay for 10, get two months free, get three bags free instead of one. And yes, you're giving away two bags of food because the third one you're getting from the vendors, but you got hundreds of dollars in store and now you've got this really cool limited membership club that people are part of. Again, food, services, if you're a grooming business here, just think big, something really special that can move the lever on Black Friday for your business. Um, and obviously the key there is to create a sense of urgency, only available today. I wanna show you how I would market that event so you get a sense of, so social media takes less time, so, Today we have ADD. Um, when did you sign up for this webinar? That's a perfect example of um, you know, how people are responding more quickly to things today. So social media marketing, set up an event, Black Friday weekend, or call it the Cyber Weekend Trifecta. Um, you know, Tales, Treats, Trifecta, something along those lines. Um, seven to eight days before you set up the event. You do one post daily, uh, do a paid ad for five days um, of those to expose people to it, remind them to come. And then a couple of days before, that would be, you know, Wednesday, um, you do um, two times an ad. Video, again, hashtags are, will be important for this. Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Thanksgiving, those are all really, really big hashtags. So you might as well take advantage of those. Email seven to eight days before, again, give the event a name, three days before, and interesting, you can all schedule, so don't tell me, I am not asking you to work on Thanksgiving. What I would tell you is that 
sending an email out on Thanksgiving day saying, spend the day with your family and friends. We hope you're enjoying the day. We can't wait to see you. Don't forget, here's what's coming. Um, some of my highest engagement and open rates are on Thanksgiving and Christmas day when all I'm doing is saying, we're thinking of you today. Enjoy your family and friends spending the day with your pets. We'll see you tomorrow. So that's how I would market that event. That's cyber. Um, if any of you or some of you take um, American Express, Small Business Saturday, and some people do Small Business Sunday. It's a weekend that American Express, yes, created, but it's been synonymous with small business. So even if you don't take Amex, you can participate and should small business specials, um, things that only go on in small business that don't happen in the Walmart down the street or the Petco or the PetSmart. Um, and if you do take American Express, go online and get their free tools. They're awesome. It's 10 years this year, so there's an anniversary with it, but all the materials are free. And again, the hashtag will help you drive awareness for um, the event in your store. Okay, now Cyber Monday. And many of you were like, why are you talking to me about Cyber Monday? It is a big deal for online businesses, yes. But the key today is to understand that people shop with the same business online and in store. So even if you don't have a click website to buy stuff on, be part of Cyber Monday, you know? You, you're online in the fact that, you know, you have a you, you have social media, so you could run specials on your Facebook page. You can run specials on your Instagram page. You can tell people, you know, that it's click to buy and you'll deliver it or curbside pickup, um, but you still are participating in that, um, that big day. So don't miss out on, to me, the, that big opportunity. Again, it's a huge hashtag. People know it. People are ready to do it. So set up five scheduled posts on Facebook, on Instagram with specials of the day and call them Cyber Monday specials. Like this post, um, comment on this post and you will get this discount. Good through Tuesday. You can, all they have to do is like the post, you know, and get them to come in or buy it online or you'll ship it to them, but definitely want to participate. And again, only on social media here, set up the event in advance, do daily posts, do live video events of it going on. So that's, that's November, right? You can see I'm jam packing it full because I really, really want you to maximize the sales opportunity. I'm not telling you to forget about December clearly, but what happens is I'm driving people with awareness in advance. And now in December, yes, they're kind of ready to buy and I need you to stay or want you to stay, I should say top of mind. So therefore the first 10 days are what I call regular price selling. Um, you may want to have a special of the day. You may want to have a, you know, just products that you've chosen to, to promote during this time on a regular basis. But for the most part, people are coming in and shopping. Maybe you do something like fun dog shopping nights. Maybe you do a share, a charity shopathon for a local pet charity where you partner with them. They send it out to, um, their membership and anyone who shops that, day that two days you will donate um a percentage of the sales to that so now you get new customers maybe maybe it's just doing goodwill maybe you do a gift wrapping event this local charity um you set up a table in the store and they come in and they can get um gift wrapping and they make a donation to this charity so the idea is it's a do good, store looks good, you're just doing sales on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be as promotional during this particular time. And that doesn't mean you may not have things on sale, you're doing day in, day out business, people still need food, things like that. But when it gets crowded and crowded on the advertising marketplace, so lots of other people marketing on social media, I want you to stay 
present and popular and constant. So that's everyday post. That's doing something that indicates you're participating. The last part of the month from the 10th to the you know 15th say, that's when your job is to drive last minute sales, wrapped and ready to go, um, multi-purchases. So put two bags of you know, greenies together, put a bag of homemade treats together, put a pound of bulk treats together with a red ribbon on it, purchase to go, make it really easy to grab and go gifts. $20 price point, $30 price point, $50 price point. Make it really, really impulse buy related so that customers can walk in and walk out and market those things on your social media, videos, um, you know, Facebook posts, and again, grab and go kind of things. Stocking related, full of toys, a $30 stocking, a $50 stocking. That's the final 10 days. Keep in mind that between the 15th and the 24th, if you haven't sold it at regular price, you need to look at how many units you have left of things. And the key is to take markdowns appropriately so that you're out of them by the 24th. Yes, I know that won't happen, but as I've said to you many times before, your first markdown is your cheapest. Reason I say 20 to 40% off, if you bought six pieces of a Christmas sweater and you thought it was the cutest thing ever and it was in small dog sizes and absolutely none of your customers liked it and you have six pieces left on the 15th of December, that is worth a 40% markdown because you have six pieces left, you haven't sold any, and the day after Christmas, it's worth 50% off. What your customer is saying is, we saw it, we didn't like it. Conversely, if you bought six pieces and you have one extra small left, maybe a small, that's worth 20%. It was a good item, you just have a little bit left to sell, a small markdown, and it will be gone. That's how you gauge how deep your markdown should be before Christmas. And the key is, again, what do you have left? Because the day after Christmas, which here I'm calling the post-Christmas Boxing Day blowout, for those of you in Canada, um, Boxing Day is a big sale time. Maybe some of you do Boxing Day sales. That the day after, it goes to 50% off. And the timelier your markdown, the easier it will be to liquidate, right? If it's 50% the day after Christmas by... January 2nd, it should be 70% off. So therefore, what you do in advance, wrapped and ready, the make it grab and go simple, all that November marketing we talked about, all that Black Friday weekend marketing we talked about, that trifecta, that's really, really important to drive sales early and often and then You've got a few units left to liquidate. Now is the time to take the holiday merchandise markdown a little bit in advance. Don't wait. Um, and then if it still doesn't sell, then go immediately to 50 um, and tell people it's on sale. Get it when it's gone. We just finished with Halloween. I'm hoping all of your Halloween costumes are gone. If you had any in Halloween themed stuff, you should take the same cadence of markdowns there. Any kind of holiday should be the same cadence. Regular price till 10 days before the holiday, maybe seven days before the holiday, and then blow it out 50% off the day of the day after. All right. I just want to talk for a second. I don't know, again, with a webinar, it's hard to see where you are and what kind of customer base you have but a little bit more specifically about millennials who are absolutely obsessed with their pets. I put the, you know, the selfie picture up. We've talked about it in some ways, but they're big pet owners. They want to spend a lot of money, even more because they're their kids. So if you know you have a big, large millennial or Gen um, Z population, a couple of additional things that I think you should think about. Not that this isn't good marketing fodder for all of you, but, um, teach them, think socially, think locally, right? Showcase, they're very, very trendy. So if you have 
um, pet technology products. And you know, your millennials are um, nuts about technology and how they use it. And you know, they use, they've got a hundred apps on their phone and they, they do all their research online and you've got all these cool new pet tech products. Showcase it for them. Great gift idea for the holiday. You know, obviously video is more critical to this audience. So if you do skew um, younger, make sure that your um, video percentage is among the higher um, end there. Millennials, like I mentioned before, um, charitable things are more important to millennials than even. So if you know you have a millennial base, um, make sure to add that charity component to the calendar that I talked about earlier. Doesn't mean your customers don't all care, but this millennial generation is is absolutely um, engaged and wants to be um, socially aware, eco-friendly, conscious. And if you have those products, definitely um, you want to capitalize. Another fun thing to do is not fun, but you know, if the average is 190, how much do you think you know you can get your millennials to buy a piece of pet tech, a stocking for your new pet? Like, you know, think about a new puppy package. If you if it's your dog's first Christmas, put together a dog's or cat's first Christmas stocking with all these wonderful things in it. Um, speak to that customer who might not have known that they should spend money on their pets. You'll do, you'll be the one to teach them. All right, I saved room for questions. I'll get back to this slide in one second. I just wanna give you a couple of heads up here. Let me show you, I added a couple of extra slides so that you can use this presentation as a reference. Um, a, obviously if we can help you, let us know. But I want you to know um, that basics, what's a good post and what is a good um, post content. Back in the appendix here, um, what kind of photos work really well take a look at that as, as you're looking to put great photos and videos together. Um, a little bit of a dry slide, that's why it's here, but graphic sizes, <laughs> excuse me, or sorry, image sizes. What's a good image size? What works on um, Instagram and Facebook for great sizes? Tips on Instagram if you are um, looking to improve your performance on Instagram. And again, what's a good video um, content? how to use them, what to do um, for videos, okay? So all those are in the reference section here. Um, and I will, um, Annie, if you're on the call and you wanna pop in and talk a little bit about global and I will look at these questions um, while, we're, um, while you're getting ready. How's that sound? Okay. She's not coming back on. I'm happy to talk about um, global. Um, oh, hi. Hi. Here right, I am. Okay. I wanted to make sure I was unmuted. <laughs> okay. Hi, Lynn. Thank you so much for all these amazing creative and actionable items uh, for ways for the retailers to connect with their customers. Um, and thanks to everyone for participating in the webinar today. And remember that it's been recorded and will appear on the Global Pet Expo website which is globalpetexpo.org, and it's under the seminars tab. Follow our hashtags on social media. we got to follow our own advice here, right? It's uh, hashtag Global Pet Expo and hashtag Pet Store Pro. And if you're enjoying these webinars, the, ex the, ex the exceptional lineup of free educational seminars at Global Pet Expo in February offer tips and tricks for retailers. Meet with the speakers, share ideas and other with other like-minded retailers. The schedule of those seminars is posted on the website for your convenience. And also note that Global Pet Expo is in February next year, not March, and online registration is available. Thank you to everyone for be participating and thank you, Lynn, this has been Amazing. I, I'm, I'm really inspired. I don't even have a store and I was inspired by the stuff that you, said, that you had out there. Let me, um, Annie, do we have time for a couple of questions? Some people um, sent in some questions. Do you mind if we Absolutely. Them? Okay. Absolutely. Let's go. So um, what do you call it? The um, 
I see this is the one that of course everybody asks and that is, okay, you gave so many ideas, where do I start? I would say this to you, <laughs> if you could get, right? I wanna make sure that you have many choices. So I definitely will, some of you will be overachievers and will do them all, others of you. I would say to you, if you're um, thinking strategically, do one customer thanking event in November, very specifically, we couldn't do this without you. We love you. We appreciate you. We recognize you have choices and you've chosen our store. So that goes a long way. There's a lot of great video content. You as the store owner can promote You know that. You can do a video and really just an appeal, that Thanksgiving card, that social media you know, way of saying thank you. Um, and then one sale activity. And that is take some percentage off on something to drive the customer into your store. I think that bounce back coupon is the way to do it. Come in November, you know, here's a coupon for December. We're doing two things. Even if they never come back in December, you've given them something to look forward to. Here's something on sale. And by the way, anytime you shop in the month of November, you get could be extra loyalty points maybe if you have a referral program or you have a dollar program. You you have programs in your store. Tie the bonus to whatever you feel comfortable with, but the idea is use it in December and um, and therefore you, um, what do you call it? You, you'll be able to get maybe that customer back in. If not, they don't come back in. You have something to talk about in it. December as well. Did you come, did you, all of you, don't forget, all of you that shopped in November, don't forget to use that coupon that we gave you for an extra 15% off and, you know, start the conversation with customers that didn't shop. Hey, we reward our loyal customers, you know, come on in on a regular basis. It's fun to be here and to shop in this store. So that to me is, is your November. December to me, the two biggest things are making sure that you stay top of mind because it's crowded. So that is making sure that you have every single day you're doing something on social media, posts, videos, um, and halfway through, um, that last minute gift idea is really important. Um, and then that markdown. I can't tell you all, I work with all of you and you tell me all the time that you, um, what do you call it, that you have not taken timely markdowns. And I would urge you again to keep in mind, write this down, your first markdown is your cheapest. So holiday themed merchandise, the 20th to um, the 20, the, the 15th to the 24th, make sure to take um, markdowns. And don't forget, you know, you guys all sat on this webinar today, don't forget to engage your staff. Give somebody, you know, the responsibility, help them, have them help with the planning. Um, make sure, even do a ribbon, you know what I mean, on your um, sales tags, on your um, staff name tags that say, you know, um, save, you know, ask us about dot, 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 join us for this kind of event. That's a really easy and um, cheap way to do it but make sure to have a conversation like we just had today with your staff. Lay out the marketing. Here's what we're gonna do when. You know, run a sales incentive. Um, how many people can we get to do these things? The Black Friday specials, if you're gonna run them, make sure to educate your team on what you're gonna do so that they can be excited about sharing it with their customers, sharing it with all of your customers. And a little bit of signage goes a long way um to help with that as well all right so um i think that's we have no that's okay that's that's the only question if you guys have more questions please don't hesitate to contact um me or contact um global um the people at global and as i said i hope i will be at global pet expo we're doing a um pre-show webinar so we hope to see you there i hope you have a great holiday season and if we can help you along the way don't hesitate to ask thanks as annie said thanks for taking the time today to be with us and we hope we gave you lots of ideas to help drive sales um, with your holiday marketing this year take care everybody bye-bye thanks again